Hello and welcome back to you in the new lesson. This is Lakshmi Kantiwari. Today we will learn about the triangular wave generation with the Atmega 32 or 16 microcontroller in the assembly language programming. So the let's start with the new fresh project. Click on the new project. It will take just a little bit time and then click on the assembler. The VR assembler project select and uh, here write the your project name okay let's assembly ramp assembly ramp and it is the admega 32 okay so the click on the location of your program it was on the my drive documents and the studio 6.1 Folder. Fine. Oops. It's a six point one folder. Okay. So the click on the OK. Just wait for a few seconds. Then select a device name. Type here the Atmega thirty two. Then click on the first and then click on the OK. Fine. Now. The setup has been completed. Let's start to the writing the code. And the writing the code is you get the first uh, has include our definition file m32 def dot inc. Okay. Then we start with the dot org at the zeroth location. And the make a proper intendations here. Okay, let's make a two tab intendations here and then initialize the stack pointer with the load immediate registers, load, load immediate instructions LDI R16 with the high and then RAM end. Okay, and then make it out to the stack pointer high. As the R16 and then again load immediate R16 with the low RAM end and then make it out to the stack pointer low with the R16. Okay, now make the port uh, as an output port to which we will connect a DAC. Let's take the port B so the again. Load immediate LDI R16 with the zero with the zero XFF for making the port B as a output. So the data directional register out DDRB and then R16. Okay, let's enter in the main program so that actually uh, in the triangular wave generation first. We have to go upside and then down, then upside, then down, then upside, then down. So here also we can start with the upside, then down, up, down, up, down. That means there should be the one routine or one loop for the down and then one loop for the up. Then uh, again repeat the down loop, then repeat the up loop. Okay. So the create uh, label fall. Sorry, let's create a label as a file. Fine, okay. So, create a label file here and then load immediate values here. Okay, so the first make the port out, output B, the R16. Okay, why we are making R16 out here? Because R16 is already loaded with the 0x FF so that it will make a port B high. Okay, so now the call the delay, call delay for a little bit delay between two conjective points in the ramp. Okay, call delay and then decrement this R16 to R to the 0 and then BR any branch if not equal to 0 to fall. Okay, and if it equal to zero, that's when file has been completed. Now it should go to upside. Okay, so again, 
out this to the port B R16 and then call the sorry call delay fine and then I and C increment R16 because now we need to increase the value to upside up to the 0x ff okay so the increment r16 and then find and then finally compare this value cmp uh, cmp r16 with the 0x ff and then if it is equal then br any if it is equal to go rise okay so let's make that here uh, rise uh, as a uh, our one more level here okay so we are any rise fine so here you can see if r16 r16 is equal to the 0 x ff then it will not branch otherwise if it is not equal to 0 x ff it will uh, it will go into the loop that's when the last value will not will not go to the port b so that we have to make last value to out so the make the last value is out out port b r16 and now these things will be loop uh, will be repeated forever because of that the down up down up okay so the relative jump r j m p to the file okay so it will always create create a loop that's mean as a while one loop now create delay routine here okay delay routine and then ldi r17 with the value as a 0 xff fine and then decrement this value which one decrement r17 and then brne to the new loop and uh, sorry to the new level that should be the d that can be the dly 255 me the 255 times it means the 255 times this loop will be executed here so the dly 255 and then finally return from the subroutine now our program has been completed okay so the let's save it first and then build our assembly program so that the we can see here the cmp this one is the unknown instruction okay it is not defined oh yeah that should be the cpi compare with the immediate value okay the compare this r16 with the immediate value of the 0x now the build the assembly program so there is one more error oh yeah we need a here colon delimiter okay so run it yes the build has been succeeded and zero failed and zero skip and the build the solution now we can see here on the output file the hex file has been created okay so the hex file has been created and our program has been completed the ramp uh, 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 sorry the triangular wave generation in the assembly programming with admega 32 in the next tutorial, we will simulate this in the Proteus. Thank you so much for watching, guys.